Hi everyone, Menachem Brody with you here once again from Human Vortex Training to talk about interval training today and how it should work and how it should look throughout the season, okay? So hang on because we're going to cover a lot of information in a very short amount of time. So number one, for proper interval training, one of the most important things that we want to do is to execute a field test. Yes, there's also laboratory tests where they hook you up for the mask, for expired gas and everything else, and a metabolic cart. I'm trained in how to do that. However, what I found is the field test is going to be very, very similar uh, numbers to the metabolic test. Yes, the high-end athletes need that metabolic test because then we're looking at what are your expired gases and how, how much can we fix this if you're fueling with more carbohydrates or we don't need that for the average person. So now, once you have these numbers, we can get into proper interval training. So we have all that interval training is... I am working for this amount of time, I am resting and going easy, so don't get off the bike and stop, but going easy for a set amount of time. So, have, so here we go. For your endurance rides, usually there's not really intervals within that. So you can't say oh, I'm doing endurance interval t intervals today where I'm riding at endurance pace and then recovering. The endurance, we want to stress the neuromuscular system, the connective tissue, uh, and just push all day at a nice smooth cadence. Guys, that's pro tip number one. Learn to pedal smooth. None of these spikes in your power meters, uh, power files from your power meters. Uh, one of the pros that I've worked with and helped develop, um, he started off in lots of spikes, and I said to him, dude, if you want to be pro, you got to pedal nice and smooth. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that, I've heard that, and he worked on it. We came into the next season, and it looked like a bumpy brick road. Amazing. Okay, so pro tip number one, learn to pedal smooth. Okay, so now, when we get into the intervals themselves, it really depends on the energy system that we're looking to stress, and uh, where your strengths and weaknesses are. So, number one, if you're doing tempo intervals, we generally can get away with the two to one. So if you're riding 20 minutes at tempo, we can do 10 minutes of endurance in between. That's pretty cool. That's pretty standard across the board. Now, once we get into the lactate threshold energy system, it depends on where you are during the year. If it's during the base time of year, like it is right now, January, February, then what we want to do is we want to go about one to one, one to one for lactate threshold. Yes, I have always done lactate threshold in base. I know some of you guys are sitting there thinking, well, no, no, it's endurance. You have to go long. I don't buy into that. Okay. Um, uh, Brett Sutton does this down in uh, Australia. He's been doing it. I believe Australia or South Africa. He's been doing it. He's a triathlon coach. They call it um, reverse periodization, I think, or something like that. Um, but pretty much, threshold is your baseline for racing, so it's very important to do. If you guys want to learn more about this or hook into my system, contact me. We'll set up a Skype consultation or a phone consultation. I work internationally. I will explain everything to you, and we will get you started to get stronger. Now, for the lactate threshold energy system, within the early season and the season, we'll go from that one to one. So if you're working for eight minutes, resting for eight minutes, we'll go eight minutes to four minutes or 10 minutes to five minutes where we're cutting down that rest in between. So now, the VO2 max energy system, uh, and that's going to be from roughly about two minutes and 15 seconds to about six minutes for most of you guys. It's going to be primarily the VO2 max energy system. We'll do one to one. So we'll go two and a half minutes on, two and a half minutes off. We're going to do the anaerobic, so 30 seconds to two minute energy system. What we're going to do is go one to one, so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. That's going to train that energy system, but you need to be very careful about how often you use that. Lastly, and is going to be the neuromuscular energy system. This is going to be about three to five seconds all the way up to 12 to 15 seconds. So this is pure neuromuscular power. We don't have a heart rate correlated with this because it's a pure sprint and it takes the heart rate that much time. There's heart rate lag, so it takes time for it to come up. For these efforts, I almost always do at least one to three work to rest. So if you're sprinting for 15 seconds, we're recovering for 45. So I'll do an EMOM of, let's say, 15-second sprint. So every minute on the minute, they'll do a 15-second sprint, recover for 45. This is really important, guys, because the neuromuscular system takes a little bit longer to recover. To wrap this up and to recap, this is what we've got on this video. Expert advice for interval training. Interval training is working for X amount of time, recovering for X amount. Working for X, recovering for X. This is coming from the Eastern Bloc, primarily, guys, from Russia. From Russia, we teach you how to ride bike, okay? So we have the, the work to rest intervals are going to be variable depending on the energy system you're working on and where in the season you are, okay? So it's not blanket across the whole season where it's one-to-one -one or two-to-one.
So okay. just keep that in mind, guys. So this is the nuts and bolts of interval training. Take home message. It depends on your energy systems that you're trying to stress. It depends on where you are in the season. It depends on what your strengths and weaknesses are. So please remember that it's not a blanket statement across. Now, if this has piqued your interest and you're saying, wow, I really don't understand this, but it seems really interesting, we can set up a free 30-minute consultation. You can email me at humanvortextraining at gmail.com. You can send a tweet to me at HV Training on Twitter or send me a message on Facebook, Human Vortex Training page. Send me a message, hook up with me. I do have a couple of slots open. I always keep two to three slots available throughout the year to bring on people who are really looking for help. So send me a message, let me know what you think about this interval training overview video, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. And remember, train smarter, not harder, and it is all about you.